the amazing elephant. Our question was, how did the different amount of yeast, dish soap, and hydrogen peroxide affect the elephants in the two-phase reaction? Our hypothesis were the different amounts of yeast, dish soap, and hydrogen peroxide will have a great effect on the reaction. Materials. Three cups of yeast, liter of dish soap, liter of hydrogen peroxide, two containers, two graduated cylinders, a tablespoon, a teaspoon, and a yardstick. Procedure. We added different amounts of yeast into the graduated cylinder, measured the reaction, and recorded the measurement. We continued this with the peroxide and the dish soap. Our data tables show the different averages for the yeast trial were measured in centimeters were 26.5, 27, 27.8. The difference amount of averages in our trials measured by centimeters for dish soap was 27.2, 26.6, 27. The different percentages of our hydrogen peroxide measured by centimeters was 26.4 and 26.8. Our graph show in the trials of dish soap that one and a half teaspoons showed a greater result than a half teaspoon. The same for our trials and amount of yeast. Our different percentages of hydrogen peroxide so that 5% was greater, had a greater reaction than 3%. Limitations. A limitation we had was that the yeast got stuck at the bottom of the graduated cylinder, so we used a different drying material. The results. The results averaged 26 to 27 centimeters. The graduated cylinder did not give us the results we hoped for. Conclusion. The pressure was not able to build up in our graduated cylinder. So the results were smaller and had a similar average.